at point of order from Mr. Ahmed. Mr. Mr. President, is this place supposed to be a students' union debating society or is it a parliament? Uh, I'm speaking about a couple of matters. We've had that oral agreement with the EPP and ALDI where a, the text of a report is changed at the very last minute so the rest of us don't actually have a clue exactly what the text is what we're voting on. But more seriously, on the humanitarian situation in Yemen, when we see two political groups with a carve up uh, between the EPP and the SD, where they decide that something's going to be delayed for a couple of weeks and they don't give us a pop proper explanation and they just, just force it through by way to vote. Seriously, this is not what democracy is all about, Mr President, and it's high time that we learn what it is in this place. Well, colleague Arnott, uh, this is not a student's club, this is a democracy, and we put everything to the vote. The majority of this chamber spoke in favour of a postponement and that is why the point was postponed. The second issue, your group had the opportunity uh, to speak. I asked for people to speak in favour of or against the motion put by uh, Ms Lunacek and nobody from your group uh, wished to speak. Uh, you didn't nor did uh, anyone from your group. You could have done that. No one uh, wanted to um, speak on that motion for resolution. That's why it was put to the vote. These are the rules of this, of this chamber. Go ahead, Mr Arnott. Mr President, the problem was it wasn't clear what it was that we were supposed to be voting on or not voting on. I didn't know whether I objected to it or not. We didn't know what it was. Uh, Mr Arnott, normally in each group, someone is responsible for following these matters uh, that go through this House. If um, no one from your group was appointed to follow this matter, then uh, they, uh, then that's the problem. Otherwise, they could have stood up and opposed it had your group opposed it. So let's move on to the explanations of vote. We'll begin with.